Hi kids, my name is Donna Green. Some of the kids call me Mrs. Green. I'm going to talk to you today about heroes of faith. And I've chosen Samuel. Samuel's a really neat one to do. He comes right after Hannah because Hannah was his mom. And she had asked God for a child for so long and she had promised that if she had a child, she would present him back to the Lord. So when God granted her her child, Samuel came along. When he was properly weaned, she gave him back to Eli. And he, Eli was supposed to raise him in the word of God. He hadn't done very well with his two sons. They had committed sins that he did not correct them on. And so Samuel was being properly raised. Now every year when Hannah saw him, she brought him a new robe. You know how you kids grow. Every time you turn around, mom and dad are buying you some more clothes. So she gave him a robe every year. Well, this was pretty special for him. And as he grew and as he grew in the word, Eli, of course, was slowly getting older and older. His eyesight was going. So I'm sure Samuel helped him greatly with many things. Well, one night when Samuel was sleeping, he heard, Samuel, got up right away. Thought, oh, Eli needs me for something. I better go see what's going on. Went into Eli. Eli, I'm here. Eli said, I didn't call you. Go back and lay down. Samuel walked back to his room and laid down. Just closed his eyes and probably fell into a deep sleep and heard, Samuel, oh, oh, I better get up. Eli needs something. Goes into Eli's room. Eli, I'm here. Eli said, I didn't call you. Go back and lie down. Boy, wouldn't you have been kind of wondering, what's going on? Why does, why does somebody keep calling my name? So he goes back and he lays down again. Falls into a sleep and hears, Samuel. Again, he gets up. He goes into Eli. Eli, what you need? Eli's like, hmm. But then Eli realized, I am betting that the Lord is calling him. So he looks at Samuel and he says, Samuel, the next time you hear your name, say, Lord, please go ahead and speak. I'm sure he had his own way of saying it as it states in the Bible. Went, he laid back down, fell asleep. Next thing he heard, Samuel, speak, Lord, for your servant is listening. Now Samuel became a very great prophet. One of the things I found interesting in my studies was one of the things that it said was he was not he was not only the last of the judges in Israel, but the greatest prophet since the days of Moses. Now we all know Moses was great in his prophecy. Imagine how Samuel was. And he had a lot he had to tell the world. He had a lot of things he had to tell Israel. So look for that in some of the upcoming episodes. Thank you. Have a great week, kids.